Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and I've got a very short uh, and basic topic for you today on baseball caps and that is curving the visor on your cap. Now over the years I've used a few different techniques for curving the visor and I wanted to review three of those with you today. Uh, these vary, they've got their advantages and disadvantages, it really depends on how much of a curve you want to put in your visor and also how long you want the curve to last in between having to shape it. So anyways, we'll go ahead and take a look at these. Really quick cautionary note, just make sure anytime you're using steam to shape your baseball caps, make sure you're wearing gloves. I have used a kind of a medium weight pair of winter gloves in most of these techniques and uh, just make sure you're protecting your hands because it is really hot. You'll need a steam um, source, so I use a teapot on the stove. Just uh, get that to a boil and harness the steam that's coming out of that. The heat and moisture really helps, and that's actually going to be used in all three techniques. But the first one is just simply uh, holding the visor over the teapot, exposing it to the steam, and then hand shaping it. Just get enough till the visor feels really warm, and then hold it in shape. Uh, the shape that you approximately want or maybe a little bit sharper curve uh, until you can feel it cool off in your hands. After that it'll stay for a little while. You may have to hand bend it a little bit if you want to work it in a little bit more but generally this is a good way to get started with a curve on your visor. The steam gives you a little bit of that extra edge to make it a little bit more permanent than you would get if you were just hand bending it to start. For technique number two, uh, I usually like to introduce something that is cylindrical in shape that has a decent sized radius. I've often used an oversized coffee mug, also experimented with a quart uh, empty paint container uh, that you can pick up at your hardware store. There's just a couple of uh, shots here of the uh, objects that I use. Uh, I've measured it out in the coffee mug here and the paint can. You can see the comparison. So just look for something close to this. That's what I would recommend. And either of these you can actually use as a forming tool for the curve on the visor. And what you can do is going back to your steam tea kettle, uh, you can actually grab the ends of the visor and then kind of hold it around the edge of the coffee mug or paint can or what have you. Um, but basically you can kind of hold it on the forming tool and then wave it through the steam. And once you f feel or believe that visor has gotten hot enough to get a nice curve in there, um, you can remove it from the steam and then just hold it on there until it cools. So roughly speaking, this is probably going to be a, between a minute and 90 seconds, something like that. Um, but that's really what you want to do is just steam it hold it against that forming tool and then that'll give you a little bit more lasting, a little bit more aggressive uh, curve on the visor. So that's technique number two. For the last, the final technique, it's actually just another kind of amped up version of the second one, which is using the coffee cup or paint can. What I use is a quick grip, which is a clamp that you can pick up at the hardware store. You use the quick grip to clamp the visor onto the coffee mug or the paint can. So this is really aggressive. This is something I featured in one of my very first videos for shaping caps. Um, I don't use it as much anymore because I found that the curve is v so aggressive that I would often have to hand work and open it a little bit and get it to relax and get it to where I like it, which is really just more of a subtle curve like I've got on this cap right here. But um, this is kind of a nice technique if you're going for more of an uh, actual dad hat type curl uh, on your visor, something that's really tight. So um, just be careful with this one. It's really going to curve it. Um, of course, they're resilient. You can bend it back after that. But um, uh, certainly be advised, this is the most aggressive way to curve the visor. So there you have it. Uh, just a short, simple uh, review of three techniques for curving the visor. Again, it all depends on how aggressive you want to be with the curve, how long you want it to last. Um, almost all of these techniques, you know, 
you're going to have to freshen them every now and then, depending on what you like in your caps. Anyways, uh, that's it. Hope you got something out of that. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.